Yeah, welcome to the first Women Matters, Matters meeting uh, of the year, of the new year 2021. And today I give over to Gertraud, who will lead us through the session. Yeah, hello. Um, let's start. We will, today we will um, speak from the future. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Hi, it's great to see everybody. Um, and let's do a check in with the question, what is good news from last year <laughs> to now? Um, or maybe interesting challenges or so. And say your name and where you're from. So everybody has a little, little hint <laughs> where to put you. Who wants to start? I'll start. Um, my name is Christine and I live in Carlsbad, California, which is near San Diego. Um, ended 2020, just, I guess, glad to still be standing and uh, have survived it. Um, thankful for still being able to work. So that's always good. Um, began 2021 with, there's just a lot of chaos and unrest here. So it's, it's disturbing. Um, yeah, it's, it's disturbing. Um, and I got my first uh, Corona vaccine um, a week ago. So I'm glad for that. That's a good way to start the new year. And hopefully by the end of February, I will be fully inoculated. And um, it's not gonna change a whole lot because I still have to do all the safety precautions. I, although I can be assured I won't be ill and I get the disease, um, I still will have to participate just like everybody else in, in all the same uh, restrictions and precautions. Um, and let's see, the other big thing on my mind, uh, last night, uh, my husband and I talked to our 22-year-old daughter uh, that she's been isolating in her room uh, constantly. She uses the pandemic as an excuse to um, isolate herself, for, not only from us, um, but from everybody. Uh, I have talked to her a few times about trying to connect with friends, where she's at with things and she's just very defensive. And this is a pattern we've been seeing coming over the years, um, but it, it's kind of crescendo to the point that uh, Tom and I both decided uh, she needs to be in therapy and work some of these issues out for herself because she doesn't seem to be happy. She's got a pretty grim outlook about the future uh, that she attributes to her generation that, you know, they're inheriting a lot of serious problems and that's true, but still, I mean, her own life is, is one that has a lot of blessings. Um, so that's on my mind today because we talked with her yesterday. And so that'll be kind of an ongoing, uh, ongoing thing. She doesn't want to talk to us. So she needs to talk to somebody. She could talk to her sister if she wanted to, but she doesn't want to do that either. So we're asking her to talk to a professional. So um, yeah, hopefully that'll be helpful this year. And, and again, maybe a, a good way to start the year. Um, and uh, that's it, glad to be together again for 2021. And, and I'm curious uh, about what the year will bring for all of us. And I turn it over to um, Mania. You. Um, I'm Monia. I still live in Vienna, Austria, central of Europe. Um, we are having winter. It looks like winter. It feels like winter, so it must be winter. Snow in the city. Uh, looking back to 2020, I'm really grateful to Heidi that she gives us this room for meeting all you beautiful women 
and all over the world, which is really was one of my highlights. And I'm very much looking forward to doing it this year as well. Um, luckily, our children don't seem to be much affected by the quarantine. They get testing. If they want to meet us, they get tested and then they hug us. <laughs> And, and the dog is jealous and starts to whine when they hug us <laughs> because usually it's just a dog I'm hugging. <clears throat> um, since we started the Integrale Salon in Vienna also on Zoom, these are new challenges for 21. And our peer group has to decide what its purpose is and I asked them to do that for 21 because things change. And uh, yeah, and I try to keep my mental health and my gray cells moving. Uh, vaccination is still in the future. We don't push it, but we will get it when it's necessary because we are both in our eighties now <clears throat> this year. And yeah, I found a new kind of meditation, uh, which is also in English, uh, expansion white light meditation. I don't know whether you know it. It's, I, I just got it today and I tried the first time. It's nothing unfamiliar, but very, very, very nice. So that's my situation. Still bouncing along happily <laughs> because this helps the most. And feeding the birds, feeding the squirrels in the morning before I have breakfast and also at noon because they also eat when we eat. I don't know why, which is very nice to watch in the city. And I will send you one of the photographs I have of the squirrel. It's just adorable. So that's my situation. I pass on to Lucinda. So good to be here again. Your audio doesn't work. Now you're muted. You unmuted yourself, but the audio didn't work. Some. Uh, Lucinda, you might go to the, the microphone symbol and there's a little carrot. And there you need to choose which microphone. Maybe maybe you had a, a wrong microphone on on your computer. In the lower left. Yeah. yeah. No. Uh, no, 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 yeah, now yeah, it's yeah. working. Magic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, so so I am. Um, Right now, I'm Lucinda, and I'm so glad to be here. Um, I'm right now in Connecticut, maybe 30 miles from New York City. Um, we just came down from <coughs> New Hampshire, where we have a family place, and we've really been sheltering there. And I was come down for a doctor's appointment, and they told me I couldn't come down because it's much safer there. I'm scared to be here, but they made me take a COVID test so I could go into my doctor's appointment. So I just... Uh, did that this morning, which uh, nothing really. But um, so I'm very glad to be in my own little house again. Um, although I love the space in New Hampshire. Looking back over this year, no oh, such craziness. I mean, it's a year really where everything changed. Uh, my father passed, we did his estate. And the last little kicker right over between my, our daughter who lives near us in New Hampshire um, came for the holiday and then it went home and immediately came down with appendicitis. So we spent between mm. Christmas and New Year's taking care of her there and she's fine, it's fine now. I was hoping that there would be some symbolism of losing your appendix, but I'm, I'm taking it to mean that we're putting you know, those things which are not significant and useful behind us. Um, so 
So, um, you know, I set an intention for expansion and radius, radiance, but not pushing. And also um, for allowing other people to have their own experience, which was very useful with, when, with our daughter there. She was having a not good experience, but allowing her to have that and giving her space to heal or do what she needed to. And um, I finding that's all the way around. I arrived home and right a, a family of four was walking by and they're former piano students. And I've been moving from piano to writing. And they were all standing there saying, oh, we miss you, we miss you. And everything that loves, you know, people who coming around saying they love me. <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay, I'll teach you again. But I didn't. I was allowing them to have their experience of having had a good experience with me with piano and um, my good experience of sticking with writing. I've sent out uh, what they call beta copies. I've got three trip manuscripts out to friends or readers and I've started a new one and I've got to do a website and start querying agents. So that's what what's ahead about? of me. Hmm? What is it about? Um, the first one, I, I've been told, I, I thought they were mysteries, but they're kind of like social justice thrillers. And it's about a woman who's a concert pianist uh, who goes to find her uncle in Southwest Pennsylvania, where there's a lot of uh, hydraulic fracking and he's disappeared. Anyway, so it's, it's I started it four years ago about um, trying to find out why it is that we can't talk to each other in this country. Um, and um, so it addresses that. Um, and the next one's supposed to happen in Romania, except I can't go there, so I don't know. Because <laughs> uh, I'm not a candidate for the vaccine. Um, I would take it in a snap, but I'm allergic, highly allergic to shellfish. So I'll have to wait and watch. So, um, but I really want to travel again. So I would take the vaccine if I could. So, and I think otherwise, I'm just uh, very, very grateful have this time with my husband um, and I miss my kids in Minnesota and um, my greater family, but um, it is good. Life is good. So thank you. And I pass to Gertraud. Yeah, I'm- oh, You're moderating, do you want me to pass to somebody else or? Yeah, you could. Okay, um, so to Christine. No, we, no, I was just with Christine. How about Heidi? Passing to Heidi. Okay, <laughs> thank you. I have two dogs around now here, and so it's a little bit, you know, he's always the wants to eat and is doing this with me. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, as you know, I'm Heidi in Italy. We have winter too, it's quite cool. Uh, it was freezing overnight and um, yeah, but that's what it is. I'm glad that I'm less allergic against winter than I was in past years. So somehow I, I'm getting calmer uh, in these things and uh, I'm beginning to do a sort of a retrospective for the Wisdom Factory instead of doing too many interviews at the moment, I try to write a little bit about the beginning and uh, how, we, how it developed and that will fill a little bit, maybe two months because I sort of got weird of, uh, you say weird, uh, uh, tired of, of having to do every week and pr putting out every week and every week and then doing the timestamps. And so it felt like a sort of, a, you know, too heavy duty. I did it for two and a half years now. And so I feel a little bit liberated from these things. As for COVID, I'm getting a lot of information about, you know, uh, also the vaccine. I would never get the vaccine, at least not at this point of time. And for, for many reasons, but mainly because it's not, the, uh, there is nothing published about safety and it cannot be safe within so few, um, little time, but I mean, I have little chance to get infected because I'm, I'm here in my, in my house. So 
<laughs> only to the supermarket. I was always a sort of an eremit, and now I'm completely the little joys to go in the, in the bar and have a cornetto con la panna. Um, they are not on at the moment, but okay. Anyway, I'm looking forward how we will talk now and how we will go on this year. And uh, all together, I'm, you know, for me, it's always been when I know, when I'm digging for the truth and I'm coming nearer the truth, even if I don't like it at all, but I feel better. But if, I, if I'm so in uncertainty, well, what is it in this and this and this and this, then I'm, I'm getting too nervous. And at the moment, I feel quite, quite quiet, I have to say. So I pass over to Beatrice. Hello, um, I'm in Brooklyn, New York. Um, I spent the last week, I came back on Thursday, but the- uh, Beatrice, it's, it's hard to understand you. Something with the mic. Try it again, because before it was great. No, it's just, no. Say something. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, it's good. You can hear me. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what. <laughs> Same what magic. <laughs> okay. Um. So I'm I'm calling from um I'm in Brooklyn, New York. Um. I for the last week, uh, well, I came back on Thursday, but the week prior to that, I was in Pittsfield, Massachusetts, um, visiting. Uh, a couple who who used to live in the city and they just moved up there about a month and a half ago. Um, um, got really can I just interrupt? It's going this way, like back and forth, faint and normal. Is there? Maybe just lean in. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm uh, my other computer. Uh, I, I left my charger up in Massachusetts where I was visiting my friends. So uh, I don't know what system this computer operates on. So I'm sorry if yeah, <laughs> we take you anyway. It's a little weird today. Um, so uh, yeah, I was up in Massachusetts for a week. It was really magical and beautiful and snowy and silent and restful. I tried to get some work done while I was there too and had some good conversation and. Um, but I've had a really hard time readjusting to being in the city. And even though I live in a particularly quiet neighborhood, um, compared to snowy, their, their backyard was the woods. So that's kind of like how isolated it was and how beautiful and quiet. So um, compared to that, every little sound seems really loud right now. Um, and I'm readjusting to, you know, being alone and having to start my own um, routine and habits and things like that. Cause I, for a week was with my friends and following along their schedule. So, um, so the last few days have been a little bit hard um, in terms of 2020 and 2021. Actually, I think this is our second meeting of 2021. Um, Feels like. Yeah, it was a very <laughs> long time ago and also a lot has happened. <laughs> But um, yeah, I, it's a strange transition for me because uh, 2020 was a lot of really great things, even though it was a hard year, a lot of really positive and major things happened in my life. I got my master's degree and I uh, did an installation and I started, um, had a lot of different projects, creative projects that I did um, over the course of the pandemic. And um so 2021 feels strange because it's the first time that I'm not in school. It is the first time that I'm not in a full-time job. Um, and I'm, there's a lot of possibility and there's also a lot of limitation because there's a lot of possibility I can do um, anything, you know, anything that I want to do really, because it's, you know, this is an open, an opening in a chapter of my life where I can choose to go different directions, but also because of the pandemic and because of circumstances, you know, there's also a lot of limitations and what, what possibilities are really possible right now. Um, so that's where I am. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be gentle with myself. I'm trying to give myself a break from a really complicated year. 
but I'm also trying to keep going and figure out what I want next um, and what is possible right now and what I want, you know, thinking ahead. And I'm starting a nonprofit with a family friend, which is exciting, but also really scary. Um, because I've never done something like that before. And he wants me to be the executive director, which is a huge, <laughs> huge responsibility and very exciting. But again, you know, uh, I'm, I'm coming up against, you know, what my limitations and knowledge are. And um, it's definitely a learning curve and a challenge. Um, but hopefully it, it goes well and works. And um, yeah, there's just a lot swirling around. 2021 feels kind of like a soup <laughs> for me right now. <laughs> I'm trying to pull out the ingredients and identify what they are and um, move forward. So that's well, we are going to taste the soup. <laughs> yeah. So um, it's good to see Martini. We haven't seen her in a while, so I'll pass to Martini. Hello. Uh, is my microphone on? Yeah. Ik heb nog iemand als handy. Um, anders, uh, du hast gefragt, Heidi, ob ich te, ob du mir helfen kannst bei irgendetwas. Und um, vielleicht hast du das technisch gemeint. Und ich würde ja. gerne mal ausprobieren, ob mein Laptop geht, weil das ist mein Handy wieder. Okay, äh, Martini, wir haben in Englisch. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, and, and we are in English. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't even... Uh, I noticed, uh, yeah. So, no, stay here, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. Um, I am living in uh, Kritzendorf, that is close to Vienna. Um, the outside is uh, snow all over and, uh, it, uh, and a little bit of snow is on the edge of the, um, uh, the, the trees, the, the um, uh, um, all the, the arms of the trees, you know, and it looks very, very nice, very picturesque. Um, the last year was a good year for us, except uh, the pandemic. Um, this year, uh, we had a little bit of a problem. Can you speak a little bit? Can you speak up a little bit? Uh, uh, this year, we had a little bit of a, uh, or a big problem, but I am not, um, uh, uh, also it hurts me very, very much but it belongs to our history. And um, I, I cannot really talk about it, but it is reality. Maybe sometimes, uh, sometime it will be possible that I talk about it. Um, I am very uh, pleased to um, work, come to my work. And um, this week we had an, test from um, uh, and it was negative and I, I thought it was only for older people people but uh, I saw a lot of young people so everyone in in Austria is going to be tested I do not look so much to the um, news and I, I try to um, uh, see as less of the uh, in the computer and the uh, uh, um, television because I try to concentrate myself on my work and it it functions because it is very very silent where we live so um, uh, yeah I think I ha I have a good feeling for this coming year despite um, personal problem. Thank you. Thank you. So, Victoria, how about you? Um, <laughs> I'm just waking up. I'm in uh, La Mesa, California, which is near San Diego. So not far from Christine, maybe we'll meet in person someday. 
Um, and uh, I'm having a very difficult start to the year. It, I, I sort of have lost my compass. I, I thought I was, I was going along very well last year because I got very intensely involved in a lot of um, different spiritual pursuits and realized at some point um, it was kind of an exciting realization that what was driving me so hard and, and motivating me, it was, it was unconscious. I wasn't aware of it, but it was, um, it's all research for something that I am planning to offer myself in the future to other people. So that's really exciting. I don't know what it is. I, so I <laughs> can't explain it yet, but, um, but it was, it was really an amazing feeling. I felt like I was, I was being led. It, it, the, the energy was coming from somewhere deep within or outside, or I don't know, somewhere in the cosmos. Um, and um, now all of a sudden it seems to have been um, sort of flooded by a lot of negative um, energy that's been coming through um, all kinds of things from the past are, are emerging in my dreams and they're getting more and more intense. In fact, this morning I was even, I, I last night I, I went to bed planning to be here this morning and then, and then I had such a horrible night that I thought I wouldn't make it, um, but I'm here. And um, I'm glad that you're you have, it looks like you have a good plan, Gertrude. <laughs> so I need it. Um, so I won't take up any more time, um, wasting time from, from the, what we're going to work on um, tomorrow. But I will mention that tomorrow night, I start a five week lecture series on Albrecht Dürer. And um, it's, uh, it, it's a, it's a lecture series for the general public. So he, he's so little known here, which is really horrifying and shocking, but that's the way it is. Um, so I'm trying very hard to like present him like tomorrow night because it's the opening lecture um, to give the whole context of, of the, um, the world that the, the way Europe was when he was born and, and um, oh, Hanali, hello, Hanali. How wonderful. Um, oh, no wonder you were all talking about winter. I thought, well, of course it's winter. <laughs> but Hanali, if she was expected, it's not winter for Hanali. Um, okay, anyway, so um, so I just ask for your positive energy and thoughts tomorrow to be with me. Um, it, I feel like a, like a missionary or evangelist or something because um, I consider Dürer one of the greatest artists in history, one of the greatest creative geniuses in the whole history of humanity. So it's a big responsibility and, um, but it's painful. I had to go on the website of the Albertina, um, which was the museum where I spent 10 years. My husband was the director and um, I had to go on their website to find, to do some research on some of the holdings, the uh, drawings that I lived with and visited almost every day when I could in the good old days when I could get to the collection um, at night <laughs> secretly. Um, and it, it almost killed me. It, it was so horrible. Um, it's, it's, it's like seeing someone you love turned into a prostitute and it just made me feel sick. And so I'm fighting, I'm fighting with a lot of negative input right now and it's very painful and it's very, it's very exhausting. So I appreciate your good energy and good thoughts. Um, it's a difficult time. Hanali, I pass to you. You're just in time. <laughs> can you hear me? What's you, Hanali? Can you, if you unmute, maybe we can. Yeah, I just, I will just sit in for now just to be present to you guys. Yeah, you okay. We, I, we are just landing and I'm, I'm um, talking and then you can do a very quick, what's your good news or interesting challenge, okay? So my good news is I am became 
an aunt in my old days. So I have a new niece on the eighth. She was born and my brother is so happy. I mean, he's so like, I've never seen him. He's a very intellectual professor or whatever. <laughs> and now he's so, such a, so I've never seen him that soft and, uh, yeah, so that's that's good news. And then there's another one. I was invited now for two books to write in collaborative ways, like like a cookbook for for online large group online things, and another one is yeah in the in that realm of uh, how to do business in another way. And it's really interesting because I've translated my book <laughs> and and want to do something with it in English. And so I'm I'm just it's it's yeah, we'll see <laughs> how how that can come out. And yeah, and I had some interesting challenges a few days ago. I was just standing in the kitchen and woof. <laughs> Um, I have the feeling, I don't know who, who said that, that old stuff coming up and all wants to be healed and really like, yeah, to welcome it and then let it go. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's my thing. Hani Lee. Thank you, Gertrude. Yeah, it's a very interesting day. My laptop, my email was hacked and my laptop's uh, hard drive had to be looked at. And then suddenly I had a Windows update literally before the session that took until now. And then we realized that I'm still on, my email is still on spam lists all over the world. So they reject all my emails. So it's not, that wasn't good news, but the year started well. I've been invited to speak at a TEDx talk and um, that I'm very excited about and many other very interesting things. Also teaching at a university in the UK in February and also in June, um, things that I would never have even imagined <laughs> going into that type, those type of environments is happening. Um, so many good things, but this was an unexpected experience and now to see how to deal with that and to stay present to it and not get, because it happened to me many, many, many times in the past that my website was hacked and um, my emails as well over the last 10 years, many times, even at one stage, my whole website disappeared and nobody could give any reason for it, technically speaking. So as you were saying, all stuff coming up is to see how this time around I'm be present with this and not allow it to pull me down. So that's where, that's where I am now. Great, thank you. I put in the chat, uh, I don't want to read them all, but if there is any of the agreements that we had uh, agreed on, <laughs> if you want to say, okay, this is like popping up and I would like to, uh, to put emphasis on that, then you're very welcome. And uh, who hasn't read them, they are in the chat. And um, at the same time, so, if you want to emphasize on, on one of our agreements, then do that and combine it with uh, what's your current mood and what's your desired mood. And please be short, like one or two moods and then your desired mood, what would you like to feel? And just really short, so we have a little bit more time <laughs> to, to share our happiest dream about to, to 21. Did you clarify the context that you just said? I didn't, was it mind blown and heart blown? What you yeah, this is, these are agreements that we got from WeFlow and we said, okay, we adopt them, but we don't have to read them each and every time. So I want you to read it. And then when you say, okay, what this one, <laughs> I really need it today or I want it today. So you can just... Otherwise, you, you just say your mood, your current mood, what's current, and what's your desired mood. Do 
just popcorn. <laughs> so you choose where to begin and who's next. My current mood is a bit of shock and um, my desired mood is to have inner peace and calm. And I pass over to Monia. Monia? Okay. My, hmm. my current mood is relaxed and slightly curious what I would find when I look back to 21. And my desired mood is, yeah, the same. So I don't really have to, we'll see. Maybe, I, maybe I'm presented with a mood I don't know yet. I pass on to Martini. Thank you, Monia. My mood is, um, full of expectation. Um, I am satisfied. Um, things are going fine, and uh, we are very thankful. Can you speak a little bit louder? I'm sorry. I am uh, very thank grateful. And uh, I don't need another mood. I accept what is because it, one time it is a little bit less and I, I can accept it. And when it is more, I'm pleased and I take it as, as it comes. Yeah. Christine, you already wrote into the uh, chat. You want to read it or me? <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought we were supposed to put it in the chat, but um, I feel apprehensive because a lot of things have been stirred up and I don't know where they will land. Um, and I don't know if they'll land in a day, a week, a month or a year. Um, and I'd like to just approach that or change it slightly to feel just curious. And so to me, that just means, you know, being a little bit more open hearted to what is going to cross my path, just a more, openness and not being too committed to any certain outcome. Great, thank you. So I pick on Beatrice. Can you hear me? Okay, I, I switched microphone to the, <laughs> the camera, I'll see if it works better. Um, I'm strangely feeling a little overwhelmed. Um, my, <laughs> I have suddenly a lot of things on my plate and I had intended for this year to be less busy. So <laughs> it's not going to plan. Um, so overwhelmed and my desired mood is grounded. Great. Now I'll pass to Lucinda. Yay, um, my mood is actually on edge um, because the other situation politically and my desired mood is deeply grounded and also optimistic. Great. Victoria. Um, my mood is um grieving and mourning and my desired mood is optimistic and cheerful you take that <laughs> and go to heidi my current mood is a little bit tight because i have cold feet and my uh, desired mood is that I will be taken away by what is happening. Okay. So. <laughs> my current mood, I have hot cheeks. <laughs> and, uh, and I forgot to tell you that I was in an experiment um, 
the intention experiment with Lynn McTaggart to uh, have the intention that the inauguration is uh, going smoothly and uh, heart openings uh, between all Americans. And that was a very, I mean, there were, I don't know how many thousand people around the world. Yeah, so I just wanted to share. So America. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, so, um, Let's have two minutes of silence and I want to give you a little breath before. This is like to squeeze, to, 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 to inhale from the bottom and really um, squeeze all the muscles the, from the perineum upwards to the lower abdomen, upper abdomen, and really all the way to, to the top of your head like pulling the past out of your body <laughs> and uh, hold it there through the nose, hold it. And then exhale. And once again, from the perineum, really squeezing, squeezing the lower abdomen, the upper abdomen, abdomen. And all the way through to, to the top of your head and hold it there. And let the past go out of your body into the field. And let it go. One more time. Perineum upwards like a liquid through a straw all the way up and hold it there. Now let's have two minutes of silence and really feel into we're meeting 21 short before Christmas, we're meeting again and say what we want to share about the year that has been. So when you talk, you speak in present or in the just past tense about the year you just finished. And come from that the past is gone and you you only have that year and be there in your happiest dream about the year so what is your happiest dream about the year coming and you're sharing from next christmas time So I pause for two minutes.
Okay. Thank you. So I now think about the three main things that you want to share. And the first thing is share about how you're feeling. What's your mood right now in Christmas 2021? Your happiest dream fulfilled. And speak from that, that feeling and share the most important parts that happened in the past year. So happy to see you all. It's 18th or so, December 2021. And I would like to ask you, what happened? Tell me about the year. And who wants to start? Heidi. Yeah, in December, it's now December 21. It's still quite warm and I don't have cold feet and uh, I'm satisfied. I'm also quite, you know, in, a, in, a, in an uplifted mood. I have succeeded to find people to, with whom to stay in my house. I have also succeeded to do a sort of a contract or to, to create something so that the house is, you know, will serve some purpose after I'm gone from this world, but I still can be here all the time as long as I want to. And these people I have found, they're really very, not only nice, but interesting. And it's, it's possible to, to really have a good contact, a good, uh, a relationship and also um, we, we, we are able to talk freely, openly, you know, about everything. And that's for me, it's very important. And they are also enjoying the, the countryside and the work within the garden. And I have a, a wonderful vegetable garden this year that was really good. The peppers up to now and even some tomatoes. So it's really very satisfying. It's a lot of work. It has been a lot of work, but it's really nice when you have your fresh vegetable every day. And the other thing which was important, I uh, went to Germany and there uh, to my home place also because I need a new, needed a new passport. And in case, I don't know if I ever will come back to, to America, but you know, it better have a passport than not have it. So I decided to do that. And then also to a place in ex East Germany where I wanted to meet a friend and also to Berlin where I uh, had lived for 12 years when it was still East Berlin. And so in many ways I was in contact with my past and it was somehow weird to, to be in contact with uh, all these years uh, and the, the places are so different and the atmosphere is different, but in some way also the same. So I'm still trying to figure out how, how the world has changed since I was a little girl, let's say, or in my early 20s when I was in Berlin and from where we visited the places in East Germany. So yeah, it's still a little bit work in progress, but altogether, it was good. That's me. I'm going to talk next because I'm afraid I'm going to forget what I was thinking <laughs> if I don't get it out soon. Um, I feel satisfied about this past year, content. Um, I took some lessons from our quarantining days of slowing down and appreciating smaller things in life and I have held on to that and kept that going. So I'm pleased about that. Um, have resumed some travel to see family members and uh, 
good friends. Um, and I very much wanted to do that uh, during 2020 and early 2021. So I'm happy that I've had a chance to do that again. And just kind of satisfied keeping a balance in my life, um, resuming things that are important to me that I was shut off from uh, earlier um, and just finding that I still have the interest in, and drive and motivation to resume some of those things now. So that makes me satisfied and content. Wonderful, thank you. Nelly, you look like <laughs> I want to share next. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> yeah, I am in Switzerland. It's snowing. It's Christmas. My kids are with me. Um, so I'm deeply thrilled. And looking back at 2021, our 16 to the power of three initiative has taken off with a big bang in so many different directions and our magical app is beta form working. And yeah, I'm just thrilled. I feel like dancing, um, celebrating, deeply grateful. And a sense of there's something incredible coming for humanity. I'm complete. Thank you. I would like to go back to Heidi and um, just start on me. Can you find a gesture and a sentence for that year just passed? Heidi and Christine and Hanali. Just the body, what the body, how to express it. Are you, you others as well when you share. <laughs> And you have a title for the year, if you would have to find one, if it was a movie or something. Another big step done. <laughs> Lessons continued. Thank you. Honey? Bursting into life. <sighs> I forgot to mention, I also started playing the harp. Thank you. Who's next? We will be over time. <laughs> Maybe 10, 15 minutes, I think. Okay. Um, I'm going to go. I listening to all of you is inspiring me. <laughs> so my story is expanding. Um, so I'm in New York. Um, I've moved into a, a new apartment that is going to be a, a permanent residence of mine. I'm really confident I can stay here for a long time. And uh, this is the first Christmas that my mother and I are going to spend in New York. Um, and it's snowing this year. It never snows on Christmas. It's going to snowing this year. It's beautiful. It's a winter wonderland outside. And we are going to go explore the city and have a special New York Christmas together and in person. Um, we're actually sitting together in the same Zoom room. <laughs> and this year has you been feel? a big year. What? How do you feel? Um, proud and uh, like I've really grown. This year has been a growing year. Um, I got the nonprofit off the ground with Matt and we've had um, some really wonderful programs in the garden and we have really exciting things planned for the next year um, and things are going really well on that front. And on top of that, I've also managed to um, do a lot of, like do some big artistic projects of my own um, separately. I've been able to balance my time between organizing the nonprofit and also 
uh, doing my own artistic work. And I feel very rooted in New York now. I feel like I have a good group of friends that I see regularly. I've been able to go out social dancing again, which is something I really missed in 2020. Um, and yeah, it's it's been a, it was a year of recovery and growth and new beginnings, um, you know, from, from the 2020 experience, new lessons learned and, and new things started this year. I think that's where I'll stop. What's your gesture and your, your sentence, your, your title for the year? Um, expand. Thank you. Martini, you want to go next? Okay. Do I have to put somewhere? No. It's okay. good. Um, I do hope that I have the courage to be uncertain, to not knowing what uh, the next moment is going to bring me. Wait, wait. Can you talk from it has already happened? It has already happened. Yes, it has already happened because this is my experience. I think that I'm very uh, pleased with this form of life. Mm -hmm. And going. Uh, I hope that this will continue in a 20... Uh, then I need not to think before things are going to happen. Um, I give an example. Um, uh, we got a full house with Christmas and I prepared a lot of things and things going on and everything went a different way. So I think this is so good how it is and I do need the courage and to have the experience that this is going to be fine. I can rely on the uncertainty what I have. And I can cope with it. Can, you, can I give you a hint to say, I have uh, done that already. So I, not I hope, but I, I I'm in that way of being. Yes, yes. And, and, and this is, uh, I, my movement is this, very, um, uh, when I am looking on, um, on a shadow, on, on, on a wall, it is just going like this very, very uh, soft and, and I feel this in my body. And I think uh, this is my gesture, what I <laughs> want to express. And I, I do hope that um, I have a full house in the next Christmas as well. And we had an, um, we have an, um, a son of my daughter, how do you call it? An ankle, an ankle. Grand, grandchildren. Okay, I have, uh, we have one grandchild and uh, we enjoyed it very much. Yeah. You know, you looked like a child just before Christmas, you know, like, what's going to happen? <laughs> um, yeah. Not only curious, but really expecting nice, wonderful things to happen. Yeah. Thank you. Listen there. All right. Um, Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, sorry to interrupt, but um, Martini didn't give a title. Oh, a title. Oh, a title. Isn't this difficult? Um, uh, 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 I have an open mouth, an open mouth. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's yeah. A friend of mine. <laughs> created the word amazing oh amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, 
Thank, Thank you. you. That's fair. So who's next? Uh, I think Monia, you, you. Mm -hmm. I started. Okay. Yeah. The title would be What a Wonderful Year. Um, I need less and less and I feel confident. And we almost had a normal summer vacation and I uh, enjoyed meeting the people I haven't met for two years. And that was really a great joy, a wonder almost. And so I'm content. And the gesture is, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thank you to you too. <laughs> so, Lucinda. Uh, um, I did. I did think of in in uh, sign language. When you go like this, these are two W's and open mouth. It means wow. So. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Great. Uh, what a year, and it's been so wonderful to, I, I feel in a way this circle has been some of the, the boat or the companions on the way. I'm grateful to that, all of you. And I'd say for the first time in my life, I can say I feel whole. I don't have one plan, I'm doing one thing, but I have a, a backdoor plan. I feel like I've stepped into Ah, real living. Um, it's been so amazing. My book, first book, I've got an agent. My first book is going to be published. I finished the draft of the second one, and I'm starting the one that I really want to write about my 16, 18 years in a spiritual community, the Kum cult. And I'm not sure how that's going to come out, but I'm, I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm so pleased that I think I can say that I've, I've made substantial contribution to social justice in this country. We've managed to get um, something called the renter's tax credit so that renters have uh, a way to um, have stable housing in this country. Um, so I'm, and I'm, I've been so delighted to be able to see my family again um, and we think that there's a little one on the way. Well, no, but I, that's what I, I, I have this intuition. So um, we had wonderful gardens. We found a way to balance two houses. We have wonderful gardens in, in uh, New Hampshire this year with, with uh, really spectacular crops. I figured out how to get a watering system so things work. And um, my husband and I have had just a really delightful time together. He's also finishing his book and um, you know, it's, it's a very sweet time, been a very sweet time in our lives. So I, I just thank the universe. And so I also use the scatter gesture. I mean, just wow. <laughs> and also gratitude. So I'd say this is the, the title would be uh, great new beginning. Wonderful. Victoria? I have found a miraculous balance between becoming a true hermit like Kierkegaard and um, somehow finding a way to live in New York to be near Beatrice at the same time. I've found a miraculous balance between complete silence and peace and focus and ebullient extroversion with Beatrice 
and I've written a lot. And I am playing, I've played, started to play the violin again. Mm. And I'm tap dancing more than ever. <laughs> and I have found a way to help countless people in their, in their, um, existential suffering and despair. So I've found a way to help them find a, a way out of the darkness. And my gesture is... Wait a second, how do you feel? Oh, I feel um, balanced. And my gesture is, I think something like this, because I, this is the, this is the hermit and this is the extrovert. Um, and my title is um, Wonder. Hmm. Thank you. So I think I'm left. Is it right? Yeah. So um, I'm feeling blessed, happy and grateful. Actually, I'm calling from our new house. <laughs> the old one is sold for a very good price. And we have found a wonderful one. I couldn't see exactly in which area. So it's still to be determined. And But like looking out into the garden where the snow is, uh, yeah, just just a wonderful garden and we have said so like a um what do you call it a wood-like garden so uh when you talked about the the water system or so so it's it's something you you enjoy and don't have to do much <laughs> and um actually i'm um we had we had a wonderful family gathering in summer with everyone. It's my whole siblings didn't see, haven't seen all <laughs> my grandchildren and now the new one. And so everybody's coming together and, and seeing each other with the little one and, and my grandchildren. And this has been oh, just like, oh my God, <laughs> centuries ago we met and some didn't even meet. And um, I say the title first is coming out. <laughs> it, yeah, my course I have been dragging along because I was so scared to go out. Uh, this has really been hit the road. And um, so people started to to register wanting to have the trigger point work and everything and so i'm i have there 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 are two trainings going on one about the trigger point work and the other one about the appreciative inquiry and actually three books out <laughs> my translation and the other two and somehow I'm co-author. <laughs> yeah, so. Um, and there has been healing for a specific person, really, like going to the doctor and didn't find anything anymore. So I could be supportive in that. Yeah. I think that's that's the most important and um, 
it's like fulfilling, like Thanksgiving. So finally made it. I, I really feel like like a gay person <laughs> not daring for a long time and and then the coming out was a lot easier than thought. My gesture. <laughs> I call you from the winter garden. I have a winter garden there. So I'll show you around. <laughs> yeah. So what if everything you just said is true? And what if everything you created, you have, everything is available for fulfilling on that. And let's have a minute of silence and just sink in. So I, even if we are going over time, I think that's important. What if everything is already here to fulfill on that? And it's actually true that your words are law. Our words are law. Thank you. So have a very quick um, appreciation closing round. And I want you to appreciate yourself and one other person and then hand over. All right, I start. Get out. I appreciate your competence and your creativity and your energy that persuades everybody that everything will be just fine. And I appreciate myself for coming closer to my truth, still growing and still enjoying it. And yep, I pass on to Heidi. I appreciate, no. I appreciate Beatrice for her courage to be with all us old people. <laughs> I really find it remarkable that you seem to, to feel well with us and I really do appreciate that. And I appreciate myself for going ahead, going ahead going ahead and don't give up, just, just go. And always find something interesting to be occupied with. No bo bo boredom, <laughs> okay. Never. <laughs> I give over to Hanely. I appreciate Dimonia when you were sharing 
I felt incredible energy in my spine and in my back. And it was a mirroring of my own life force feel it in my body. So thank you for that. And I also want to thank you, Victoria, because when you were sharing, you really touched my heart. And I want to give gratitude towards that. It made me kind of emotional on a cellular level, if that makes sense. So thank you for that. And I am grateful for myself for showing up today, regardless of the technical divas not working together and for this incredible leap into the next season and to feel that transformation in my body. Thank you. And I'm passing on to Christine. Um, I pre appreciate myself for um, staying open and listening well and keeping an open heart. And I appreciate uh, Hannah Lee for struggling through her technical problems, which can be very frustrating. And I'm appreciative of Victoria for having an interest in meeting in person. That'd be great. And I will pass on to uh, Martina. Thank you, Christine. Uh, I do appreciate very much what Victoria was telling and that she almost was crying and that afterwards she changed um, very uh, to another mood and that this is possible within a few, in, in a little time. I felt very close to her. I do um, appreciate myself as well for being open and being inspired by all of you, not just one, but all of you, because there are so many different things what I'm thinking afterwards. And I do appreciate this very much. And I, I bring this like a bro broader in with very different um, um, stitches in in a gesamtwerk in an um, and, and uh, totally work. I, I don't know how how to express this. Maybe you understand it. And what else have, uh, do I have to say? To pass it on. Pass it on uh, to you, uh, Gertrude. Okay. Uh, yeah, he, okay. Um, I appreciate myself for jumping in. <laughs> and and uh, it's a little bit extended. I'm sorry that it took so long, but I, I was so happy to hear all your sharings and, and all your... Um, yeah, and I actually appreciate for my coming out. <laughs> um, and I appreciate Lucinda for your, the, I, I can feel you being an artist no matter what you do. So gardening, writing, piano, whatever, or director, it doesn't matter. You, this is your heart and being. Uh, whom did we miss out? Oh, Victoria. <laughs> um, I appreciate all of you uh, for appreciating me. <laughs> um, it means a lot. I, I, um, I'm so happy that I made the effort to come today. I wasn't going to. Um, so it all comes back to you, Heidi, for creating this wonderful community and making it possible for us. And, um, and I'm so moved that, that all of you could empathize with me because um, 
maybe above all because I don't empathize with myself. So <laughs> it's really profound that 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 I can see that you do, which means there must you must have seen something that I will now try to find. Um, and I appreciate myself for showing up even when it's hard. And I think Beatrice hasn't shared yet. I appreciate um, Hanali for your your warmth of pre I always feel like you're just, I don't know, that's the gesture. I can't put it to words, but there's a warmth and kind of like, I feel like I'm in a hug when I'm in your presence. So thank you for that. And Martini for um, the childlike play energy, which is always so lovely to witness and be, be with. Um, I'm sorry, I'm breaking the rules. <laughs> Um, and my mother for this very creative gesture. I, <laughs> I love, I love the asymmetry and I love the, I don't know, it seemed really perfect. Um, and just to share, this was a gesture that my father always did when he was, if he was out on a walk or ahead of us, or we were coming to meet him, um, it was true of my mother, even before I was born that when he saw her, he would always go like this. <laughs> So this is, um, that was why I chose that gesture. It was a tribute to him. And then I think this is my mother also tribute to him. I, I don't know, I love that gesture. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> um, I appreciate myself for committing to this time, um, showing up every time. And even if there's other things going on or I feel like my focus is elsewhere um, and for um, being open to the possibilities of what happened in this space. And did Lucinda go? I'm not sure that Lucinda went yet. So I will pass to you. Um, so I'm, I, I lost connection. Am I connect? Can you hear me now? Okay. Sorry. Um, um, and uh, I give really appreciate Heidi for the invitation since I've known her, she's been inviting people in and, and uh, for that quality of inviting community and the greater good um, and Martini for her sparkles. And Christine for this sense of, of groundedness uh, and, and uh, deep, deep thinking. So um, I'll pass it on, I think, to Christine. Yeah? I think we're done. I, I went. You went already, okay. All righty, I think we're done. Back to Gertrude then. Or Heidi, can you hear me? Write down your sentence <laughs> and have come back to that feeling of, yeah, what you felt. Maybe you write that down in the gesture. So you remember your Christmas call and be aligned with what wants to emerge this year. Thank you very much in the last words with Heidi. We are very grateful for <laughs> to, to offer that space. Yeah. yeah, thank you very much. I'm I'm really excited about the diversity of women we are here. It's really incredible. <laughs> and how we can be together. You know, I, I, I really would love to to be together once maybe a, in in person would be perfect, but also for a longer time, not only an hour, uh, maybe one once in summer or whenever for for an afternoon or something and do, do something going deeper, because I always feel that this is just the beginning, what we are doing. And then we say goodbye, <laughs> see you in two weeks. So anyway, I hope to see you in two weeks and have a good time and overcome these days, which will be a little bit problematic, I guess, or hopefully not. 
uh, in the world and keep up the good mood. <laughs> I'm just so excited. I'm holding everybody's dream for the, for the new year. I'm just so excited to be in your company. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Wonderful. Keep dreaming, keep dreaming. <laughs> yeah, we can, we can revisit because it's recorded. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.